It was exactly 14 years ago and we came out to Aspen, the most wonderful place. Um, we were young, we didn't really know exactly what we were doing, we just jumped forward. And now 14 years later, we finally landed 435 West Main Street and where we have a beautiful building and can't believe this is all happening. We were quite young when we moved here. Liba is still very young. I was 25, she was 23. Exciting and an adventure just to meet new families and new friendships. Having Mendel and Liba come in was such a, a wonderful embrace of the Jewish community that uh, hadn't existed here before. It became pretty clear just after a year or two of being in Aspen and the success of our programs, the participation from the community, that we needed a facility, a home where people can express themselves, can assist people with their Jewish identity, their Jewish awareness, their Jewish pride. So it was a dream for us quite some time ago, 10 years. When I first met Rabbi Mendel Mintz, he told me of a dream to have a center for all the Jewish community. Frankly, I thought, there's no way that we're going to build a huge Jewish center, maybe something of a few hundred square feet, not a real, not a real community center. When I first met uh, Rabbi Mintz and Liba 10 years ago, I created a chart for them, and the chart had three columns. The first column was a list of what their goals were for the building. The second column was how those goals could be reached programmatically, and the third column was how we would achieve those goals architecturally. Very important feature in this building is the feeling you get when you initially walk in. It was always about in a place that when you come in, you feel it's an extension of your own home. It should feel like to everyone it's their home, it's their home away from home, some are they're comfortable, some are they just enjoy, relax. Unlike many typical synagogues, you don't, you don't walk into this sort of formal grand lobby. You walk into what will really feel like a living room. It's not the typical, you have a synagogue, you go there, then you leave. This is a place for people to come. We have a, um, a big, big fireplace. We have um, sofa, chairs. We have a little conference area. It could be video conference. I can work there. I can play there. My kids can play there. It was very clear from the beginning that we wanted something where we didn't have to compromise, where we can really have our dreams come true. It has pretty much everything that I've always wanted. It has a mikvah. Ballroom and the shul. We'll have our Hebrew school classrooms, we'll have our preschool classrooms. Having a Jewish identity has always been important to me, but I didn't realize how much until, until we started a family and had children. And now being able to house the school inside this beautiful setting inside the building is so important for the children. You know your children are happy in Hebrew school when they come out asking if they can go more than once a week. I really like the Hebrew school here. Like the best thing that I like about it is the teachers. Like they're really nice and you can connect with them really easily. Between all the classrooms and the outdoor area. There's yards, there's space outside. There's trees outside. There's trees when you're inside because you're all windows. It all opens up. In the lower level, we'll have a playroom for the kids. The kids can just have a great time there. During the winter, a lot of times it's very hard for kids to play here. To play something simple as basketball or soccer, you can't do that. Well, we have a huge room downstairs that we're going to open up to our kids. They didn't just want another Jewish community center and a Chabad presence here in Aspen. It was something much more than that. We knew we wanted a building that would be a source of pride for the community as the first full-time Jewish community that people would be really proud of. What is something that will be a source of pride to the Aspen community will be unique for Aspen and the standards that Aspen and our valley is used to? One of the decisions that we made was to put the sanctuary on the second floor, not on the first floor. And what it did was, first of all, it gives you these spectacular views of Aspen, of the mountains, of, the, of Main Street. So the building, when you're in the building, you feel like you're part of the community. The sanctuary is bathed in light. This is not your you know, typical kind of shul. It's got skylights that open up. It's clean lines. It has windows that open up. People will be here for events celebrating life bar mitzvahs, parties, weddings, all kind of events, birthday parties, whatever it may be, joy and celebration. The way that sanctuary sort of glows during the day 
and will also at night sort of shine almost like a beacon for the community. What a better place to put this building than right on Main Street. Driving to town, you see this beautiful, beautiful building. And when I pass by Main Street and I'm passing by the building, I just, the pride and joy that I hope that every Jewish person in this valley or visiting the valley, how happy and proud they are to be a Jew. I think that the building really ties together the Jewish community of Aspen. It brings in everything that is great about Aspen. It's very elegant. It's beautifully designed. It looks really amazing. It looks really cool. What is amazing when I think back on that diagram now, after years of revisions and new iterations and redesigns, that um, the building now largely looks like what we had originally sketched out. What, what I'm really most proud of with this building is that this is the first full-time dedicated building for the Jewish community in Aspen. It's never existed before in Aspen. Now we have this amazing facility, this building, that will be open to everyone. Open to non-observant Jews, open to reform, conservative, orthodox, spiritual, maybe not even Jewish. It's open. It's a home. And it's the first home ever in this community for Jewish people. The Jewish people now have a place in this town. Finally, we feel like our congregation has a permanent home. Look what we all accomplished. Look what we all did. I am so excited that the building is here. It's something that everyone's been waiting for. I know my kids have been waiting for this day for a long time. I can't wait to see what it looks like inside. It just brings tears to my eyes that this is actually happening, that this, that this is here, this day came and nothing was compromised. We did everything that we thought this valley needed. I'm so excited about the future and what it holds for all of us. It's just so exciting. It's just like a new era. It's a new beginning. It's a new start. And we're so happy you're part of this. We want to welcome you on board. And thank you all for being here. So thank you all and God bless you all.